cyclic silicates what is that going to be now obviously you can read or oh sorry you can look at the diagram here but let's read it out first yeah okay so read it out carefully two oxygen atoms per tetrahedron okay this is a tetrahedron right okay now if you take a clean look here you will realize in fact let's let's proceed with a simple one this is a tetrahedron right and this oxygen and this oxygen is shared right you can take the case of this as well you will realize that you know what this oxygen and this oxygen is shared similar is the case with this one as well you can take a look at any one of these over here and you will realize that per tetrahedron per tetrahedron right two oxygen atoms are shared right okay and they share basically get shared to form closed rings now you can then again remember the general formula but there's a better way now think about it what is going to be that better way so take a look at this one over here right what is this this is okay so let me let me uh, just number these 1 2 3 and the top one here is 4 right so what do we have over here we have four oxygen now the oxygen one is when we can say 100% contribution to this unit to this unit right to this unit we can say that you know this oxygen is contributing 100% it is only bonded to this silicon the dot here right the only this silicon okay if we talk about oxygen 4 where is 4 4 is at the top right or if you are viewing it like this it's a you know tetrahedron pointing towards right okay think of pine trees think of this as the ground usually the ground is over there right below us so let's take the ground and take it like this now whatever trees were there let's say they were you know palm trees some some pointy hutty sort of trees so now they have come like this so it's it's basically you know coming towards like this so i'm talking about this oxygen right the tip over here pointing towards you that's four that is also 100% but if you talk about you know oxygen 2 and oxygen 3 they are 50% contribution each why because those oxygens are bonded to two silicon right this oxygen oxygen 2 here is bonded to this silicon as well and oxygen 3 here is bonded to this silicon as well think about it think about it does it make make any sense right so what do we have we have one silicon right we have two complete oxygens right and then we have two oxygens which are 50 50% each so we have one oxygen more correct okay so we have a total of sio3 right three oxygen and and since 2 and 3 are shared they don't have a charge they don't have a charge but 1 and 4 are 100% so they do have a charge so that's 2 minus and n such units are there right you can do the similar calculation for this unit as well and this unit as well right you can do the calculation for any of these units is going to be sio3 what 2 minus right and so we say that you know what either it can be sio3 2 minus whole n or it can be you know sio3 and n is there but 2n minus the charge has come out the charge has come out and has become now 2n minus get that point right okay so yeah this is essentially now what we have now let's move forward to chain silicates now in chain silicates there are simple chain silicates and double chain silicates what does that mean nothing nothing difficult don't worry about it don't worry about it yeah okay cool so have a look what do you have here think about it you have this right okay i'll do what i'll use two markers to better have an understanding of you know what's going on so that we can easily identify what is where although it's the same unit repeating again and again if you you know try and understand what is this have you read this dialog box in the meantime right by far try and read it right two corners of each tetrahedron are shared think about it right this is a tetrahedron correct okay now this corner and this corner is shared right okay now talk let's talk about this one over here 
So what do we have over here? This one then again and this one over here, they are shared. Let's talk about this one then again. We have this and this. So this one then again and this one over here, they are again shared. So two corners of each tetrahedron are shared, which is quite similar to the cyclic one. But it's a long chain. It's a straight chain of tetrahedron. Right? It's a straight chain. It's not a ring like the previous one, the cyclic ones, right? And the general formula then again becomes the same which we had earlier because two oxygen are shared, right? So SiO3 N and the basically 2 N minus whole charge or we can say SiO3 charge 2 minus times N. You can think about it in a very simplistic manner, right? Let's, let's observe this right here. So we have this tetrahedron, right? Okay. Or, you know, you can actually look at this one as well that we have this tetrahedron here. Now, this oxygen contribution I'm counting as 50% and this oxygen contribution I'm counting as another 50%. That means that this one here is 100% and this one here is 100%. So, it's a similar scenario, right? Two oxygen complete contribution, two oxygen 50% contribution each. 50% contribution each, right? So that tells me, uh, that gives me SiO3 2 minus whole N. Get that, right? Okay, cool. Now, let's have the other representation, right? In fact, you know what, let's, let's have a look over here and I think this will further clarify. Don't worry, these points are still the same, right? I didn't change the point, I just wanted to have two different, you know, uh, visualization aspects over here. Look, the points are exactly the same. Don't worry, you're not missing out any stuff. So look, if I, let's say, you know what, uh, fine. So let's call, let's, let's start with this one, right? So let's start with this one here. Let's call and let me use, you know, a different marker. So let's call this one over here one and let's call this one over here as one. Yeah, okay. This is, in fact, I think instead of numbers, there's a better way. Let's, let's circle these. Then we have these, right? Let's circle these. Correct. Okay. Then we have this. Let's circle this. And let's, then we have this and let's circle this. Now, let's do one more thing. What is that one more thing? Now, let's, let's do it something like this, right? So, we have this, this circle, right? Okay. Uh, the dot, obviously. Okay, one second. Let me use some different color. Yeah. Right? The dot here is obviously silicon, right? This one over here. So let's get back to the green marker. Right? And this one over here is this one over here, right? This one, this one, this one. This one over here is which one? This guy. Right? You get the, get the similarities between this and this. Right? Again, don't think that these blue lines are bonds. These blue lines, they are not bonds. They are not bonds. Where are the blue lines? Right? Let's, let's talk about this in this way. So, these blue lines, where are they in this one? Let's, I'll take any, any random example. So, we were till here. So, we have to take this. Fine. See, these are the blue lines. These are the blue lines. They are not bonds, right? Okay. There's another one here as well, which we might not be able to properly see at first. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Great. Now, double chain is what? <laughs> what is double chain? Right? So, think of this first. Right? Think of, oh, sir, what is this? What is this? We are now think, 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 think. I'll use a different marker. Right? Okay. Think. Just observe what I'm doing, right? Just observe. Right? Getting any sense? Getting any sense? What, what do we have over here? What do we have over here? We have a single chain. Right? We have a single chain and we have another single chain. So we have two single chains and they are basically, you know, attached to each other via a common oxygen. You get this? Right? Okay, you get this? Yeah, this formula I would ask you to remember. We could go into the explanation, but it will be too much. Now, let's come back. Right? I'm, I'm just getting rid of all this. Think about it. This, 
this is here right get this view at it again have a look at it this is here right and at the bottom is another another similar to this get the point right so what was the name this was the name simple chain right what were we at you are at chain silicates we were at simple chain silicates and now we have moved on to double chain silicates so think about it again think about it again double chain silicates which i'm asking you to remember the general formula of that has two simple chains joined together by shared oxygen atoms get that right they are also known as amphiboles right okay the general formula is obviously there right now take a look at it again what is happening okay now tell me something right you do see something of a like a starry or something of a you know this this uh, this 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 circle thing over here i would not call it circle exactly but right somewhat like that so where is that that is actually this this weirdness that you see here right that is actually all of this but you don't have to remember all this because you understand the logic right how do you create create double chains right how do you create double chains you take two single chains and combine how do you create a single chain right you take alternative right you take alternatively right you take one bottom one above one bottom one above and you make you know uh, per tetrahedron unit two oxygens will be shared then you take this and you double it and you take an, and then between the two layers you make one oxygen common throughout right and this is how we get this something like this